We're on an electric water heater and we're talking about changing the temperature settings um, for your comfort level in your home. This is also a task that requires us to turn the power off. So make sure first and foremost that you turn the power off before you ever remove one of these panels on the water heater. And then once again, come back and double check yourself. Always double check yourself because a lot of times the boxes aren't marked right or maybe the breaker doesn't work or there's something faulty in the electricity. These will hurt you if you don't check and double check yourself. So what we do is we have our power off. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the cover. And get into our little mechanical room on our water heater here. The next thing we're looking for is power. There's two places that I check for this on a water heater. The first one is down here at the element. Typically if the power is on, it's going to be towards this element, but there's also another place I check before I call it good. Now you can see that there's no voltage at this element here. The next one is a little trickier to get in. To check, I always reach up at the top here, in the top corner, just the plastic itself, and I pull this plastic thing off. Don't worry, it snaps right back on. The next thing I do is check up here for power at the top two screws because there's power here all the time regardless. Sometimes the power transfers to the lower element and that's why I say check both spots. If you're in one cover, it's just as easy to pull this off and check the top. If you want to start there, you'll know for sure right away. Uh, you can see I've got no power at the unit, period. So we're safe to go ahead and, and work with this. Now the thermostat in these, there's two thermostats in an electric water heater. There's an upper thermostat and there is a lower thermostat. Um, you ask why there's two. The reason being is um, once you get the water to a certain temperature up here for that first hour recovery, you it switches to the bottom to go ahead and finish heating the rest of the tank. Now when it does that, typically the bottom element is lower temperature on the thermostat by 10 degrees or so than the top one due to a phenomenon called temperature stacking which is pretty simple if you think about it, heat rises. It does the same thing in hot water and in the tank itself. So your top is gonna to be a little bit hotter than your bottom so that they don't alternate wrong. It's something that a lot of people don't know about that's pretty important. So your lower element is usually one setting lower than your upper element because each setting on these is about 10 degrees. Now we get into the thermostat itself. Each one's a little bit different. Some of these thermostats have numbers on them and some of them have letters on them. Um, this one in particular has uh, numbers on it and as, as you can see it goes up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit on this thermostat, this particular one. I like to see the hot water at about 100, 110 degrees, uh, especially when you're dealing with the elderly and uh, small children because it, it is potentially very, very dangerous, uh, any, any higher than that. And you've got some time still to move away from the hot water before it scalds your skin. Baby skin is very, very tender and elderly people just can't move very fast. So those are the two things that you have to be very aware of. Hot water is potentially very dangerous. It's something that we all use every day. A lot of us end up taking for granted until your water heater goes out or goes bad. But it's something that we need to pay attention to temperature wise because it can be very potentially dangerous. Okay, now to change the temperature setting, what you need is a smaller screwdriver. Um, as, as before, we, we used a, a larger one, or you, ha you may have a couple of different sizes. You're looking for a smaller screwdriver um, to do a job like this, because it's got to fit in the slot. And what you do is you fit it in the slot, and you turn it clockwise to turn it up. Did you hear that click? That click means that it turned on. And you turn it counterclockwise to turn it down. This particular one on the top is set at 125. I don't, I don't recommend you set them this high just because that's a pretty high temperature. I like to see the top one set at the top side on an electric water heater at about 110 to 115 degrees and the bottom one 105 to 110. And you got that stacking that happens. That makes your water heater very, very efficient. That's how you adjust the thermostat on this. Now there's also a redundant thermostat in the lower half, once again, that you have to adjust to. 